Hi friends, welcome to my channel Math Army. A man travels 600 kilometers apart by train and partly by car. It takes 8 hours and 40 minutes if he travels 300 kilometers by train and the rest by car. It would take 30 minutes more if he travels 200 kilometers by train and the rest by car. So guys, there are two scenarios here, case 1 and case 2, okay, or scenario 1 or 2. Now, let us assume the speed of a car is x and the speed of the train is y, okay, because we have not been given the speed of the train and car, but we are supposed to find the speed of the train and car. So let me take the speed of the car is x and the speed of the train is y. Okay, now, then what is the distance these people are traveling? In the both the scenarios, they are traveling for 600 kilometers. So, distance is equal to 600. Fine. And what is the formula? Distance is equal to speed into time. Or I can write time is equal to distance by speed. Right? Okay. Or even I can write time is equal to distance divided by speed. Okay. And in the, what is the first scenario? First scenario out of 600 kilometers, 320 by train and 280 kilometers by car because the rest is nothing but 600 minus 320. Now, I'll be taking uh, 320 which is divided by train divided by y because 320 has been traveled by train and the rest which is car 280 I'll be taking it as 280 divided by x because x is nothing but speed traveled by the car is equal to and what is the duration that these people have traveled they travel for 8 hours and 40 minutes so Instead of 40 minutes, I'll be transferring 40 into hours. So 40 divided by 60. Okay. So that gives me the overall in, you know, transferred into hours. So here I will be getting 8, 2 by 3 hours. Or even I can uh, represent in the form of improper fraction. 8, 3 is a 24 plus 6, 26 by 3. So, the equation that is going to be formed is 280 by x plus 320 divided by y is equal to 26 divided by 3. Okay. And this is my equation number 1. Fine. And as I said earlier, this is my scenario number 1 or case number 1. And in the scenario 2, you know, rather than traveling for you know, uh, they are traveling for extra 30 minutes, but here they travel 200 kilometers by train. So, 200 divided by y plus 400 divided by x is equal to, so let me write that. So, 200 divided by y because 200 kilometers is traveled by train plus 400 divided by x is equal to so they traveled extra half an hour. So 8 2 by 3 hours plus half an hour. That is plus 1 by 2 hours. I hope you are getting here. Guys, everything has been transferred into hours. Now, on the right hand side, 26 by 3 plus 1 by 2. If I solve on the right hand side, I will be getting the denominator as 6 and the numerator as 52 plus 3, 55 plus, divided by 6. So, so the overall the equation would be 200 divided by 4 plus 400 divided by x equal to 55 divided by 6. So, there are two big equations guys here. Can I simplify them so that our equation, our solution would be a little bit easier for us. So here I can see the numerator as, okay, I can see two common. So I'll be taking two out of the uh, numerator across. So instead of uh, 280, I'll be writing 140. 
divided by x plus 160 divided by y. This is on the left hand side. On the right hand side, 26 I will be writing as 2 multiplied with 13 divided by 3. So 2 on the both sides get cancelled. A little bit smaller equation has been formed, right? 140, 140 divided by x plus 160 divided by y is equal to 13 by 3. Okay. Now, on the second case, here I can take even bigger number. Okay. What can I take? 5. So, 5 common on the both the sides. If I take 5 common, so I will be left with 40 divided by y. And here, 80 divided by x equal to, so this 5 common on the left hand side, equal to 55. I will be writing 5 multiplied with 11. So, 5, 5 get cancelled. Here also a little bit smaller equation has been formed when compared to the earlier one is equal to 11 by 6 now so there is you know it is in the form of 1 by x and 1 by 5 now i'll be reducing them to a pair of linear equation so instead of 1 by x i'll be taking p to simplify my solution and uh, instead of 1 by y i'll be taking q now so in the first equation i'll be getting 140p plus 160q is equal to 13 by 3 and this is going to be my new equation 1 okay and in the similar way in the second case also I will be getting so first I will be writing 80 part 80 by x I will be writing it as 80p plus 40q is equal to 11 by 6 now these are the two equations that I am supposed to solve now it's nothing but pair of linear equations it's new equation 1 and this is new equation number 2 so I'll be moving further to solve this one so once I get the value of p and q then I will be also getting the speed of train as well as car. Okay. Now, let me write those two equations first. I know guys, this is a bigger equation, but it's a, you know, it's a little bit tougher as well. Most of the students, my own students couldn't able to answer in the very first attempt. So, they have to practice couple of times before getting the hold of the entire solution. And this problem was a previous CBSE syllabus question, guys. And it took great amount of time to understand. Okay. So, I am just writing the two equations which I got in the previous page. Okay. Now, these are the one and two equations. So, I will be using elimination method. So, in the second equation, I can see 40p. So, instead of 40, I want to multiply the entire second equation with 4. And I am not going to touch the equation number 1. And this entire equation I am going to multiply with 4. So that equation 1 and 2 will be same. So equation 2 becomes 160p plus 84320q is equal to 11 by 6. Sorry, 44 by 6. Now, write the equation 1 just below this one. 160p plus 140q is equal to 13 by 3. Now, equation 2 minus 1. Guys, 2 minus 1, equation 2 minus 1. So, change the symbols. 160, 160 get cancelled. And here, 320 minus 140 is 180. And 44 by 6 minus 13 divided by 3. So, I am solving on the right hand side. LCM is 6 and 44 minus 26 so 44 minus 26 is 18 right one second 14 14 minus 6 is 8 and 3 minus 2 is 1 okay 18 18 divided by 6 so 6 divides 18 3 times so therefore 
180Q is equal to 3. 3 divides 180 in 60 times. So therefore, 60Q is equal to 1. So therefore, I can write Q is equal to 1 by 60. Now, take this Q value which is 1 by 60. Substitute in the either equation 1 or 2 here. So I will be taking equation 1. And the equation 1 is <coughs> 160p plus 140 instead of q I will be writing 1 by 60 is equal to 13 divided by 3 here 0 0 get cancelled and uh, 2 3 za 2 7 za so 7 by 3 and move this 7 by 3 to the right side. So I will be left with 160p is equal to sorry once so let me write first 7 by 3 now I will be moving this 7 by 3 to the right hand side it becomes minus 7 by 3 so therefore 160p is equal to 13 divided by 3 minus 7 by 3 so 3 is the LCM which is denominator. So 13 minus 7 is 6 and 3 divide 6 2 times. And therefore 160p is equal to 2 and therefore p is equal to 2 divided by 160. So therefore 2 1s are 2 80s are. So therefore p value is 1 by 80. Now, what is P for us? P is nothing but 1 by X. So, instead of P, I will be writing 1 by X is equal to. So, let me write. Okay. Now, P value is 1 by 80 is equal to 1 by X. And do a cross multiplication. You will be getting the value of X is 80. And what X is stands for? Speed of the car so it it is the car is driven at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour and uh, instead of q which is 1 by y i'll be getting the value of y as 60 kilometers per hour and uh, y is nothing but speed of the train so before closing it guys i'm writing a closing statement car speed is equal to 80 kilometers per hour and uh, train speed is equal to 60 kilometers per hour and that's it guys if you like my explanation please don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel and that is going to motivate me to make even more videos thank you guys have a great day bye for now